Hey everybody, welcome to Bruder Tuner, welcome back to the shop, and today we're tackling cylinder head temperatures. So, you got your scooter on the street, you got that sweet pipe installed and everything's running great, so you go for a cruise, and lo and behold, everything locks up. If you've ever ran your scooter too hot and you notice things like the back wheel locks up and you give it a few minutes and it can kick over and start up again, more than likely you dealt with something that's called a soft seize. And really, that's the best case scenario if you're gonna overheat your scooter. We're trying to avoid even more catastrophic things like totally locking up and destroying our bore. So today, we're gonna be installing our cylinder head temperature gauge and make sure we're keeping our Yamaha jog in check. I picked this gauge up from scootertuning.ca, our friends from up north, America's hat, if you will, Shout out Speed Academy. And I got this gauge shipped to me for about $40 total. So not a bad deal. It's a little bit different than the one I run on my Aero. This one is actually backlit. I don't know if it's gonna be as good, but we'll see. For the price, might be hard to beat. What are you doing? Me? Who? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. I'm about to take this thing apart, get this gauge installed, and we'll get the bike on the road. So stand by. My plan is to just run it in the same spot that I did for my uh, marker lights, and I'll just run it through the cowl, and then up into the engine compartment. One thing you're gonna wanna do when you get the spark plug out is clip this ring off here. This is a ceiling ring, and you do not want this to stack on top of your temperature ring. So you're gonna cut this off, and your temperature ring will be what seals instead. And some of you might find that with your cylinder head, um, you might run out of room, so uh, it's possible you could have to bend this probe a little bit to get it to fit a different way. Um, you might put it on here and then bend it upwards. Um, do whatever is necessary to get it out of the way of your spark plug wrench, but also fit within the cylinder head, keeping out of the way of the uh, cooling fins. All right, guys, we're going to check and see if this uh, thing is registering temperature. And there we go. Looks like this thing is working. All right, so we're gonna take some of this uh, thin sheet metal here and uh, we're gonna cut out a small section, bend it at an angle and uh, try to mount it that way. So I'm gonna get this measured out, make my cuts and get this thing bent into shape. All right, so we've got this thing all set up. Um, if we need to bend it more, we can, but this should be good to Get our temp probe placed on there, just like this. Should be good to go and be able to see that thing. All right, so we've got our mount all set up here. Um, and again, the plan was to put it on here. And if I needed to bend it down a little bit, I could. Uh, but I'm thinking we're just gonna run it, maybe at a slight bend for now. And uh, that should give us pretty good viewing angle on this. Give it a little bit of a tweak there. Perfect, just like that. And uh, this came with some uh, some 3M double-sided adhesive. And I'm gonna use that for now since uh, this is gonna get painted anyways. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. All right, so we've got our car pulled off. I pulled up my main jet here. Um, this is a number 82 for the factory one in the 27V. And if you're looking to get some replacement jets, stage six makes some, and these are actually M6 for a Delordo carb. So if you're looking for some jets, search Delordo six millimeter jets, and you should find what you need. So since I got the 82 in here, um, this kit I've got goes from 80 to 102. I'm probably gonna jump two sizes for now since the bike was running pretty hot and I have experienced the soft seas. So we're gonna put this number 85 in here and uh, see how it does. Also, when you're working on these old carbs, be sure to use the correct screwdrivers. I uh, highly suggest you invest in a good set of JIS screwdrivers. Reason being is because these are designed specifically to fit in standard Japanese hardware like what will come on your old scooters. 
I'm gonna link these down below so you can go pick up a set for yourself if you'd like to. So I did a few different runs with this gauge installed on the bike, starting with the factory jet, that number 82, and I saw temperatures get up to almost 350 degrees pretty quickly. So I stopped what I was doing, pulled it back to the shop, and uh, put in that 88, two sizes up. What I saw from there was that the temps dropped down to 270 after sustained wide open throttle pulls, and that's a little lower than I'd want it to be. I'd like to be somewhere around the 300, 310, 320 range max. Um, so came back, put in the number 85, which split the difference there, and we saw temps right around 310 degrees after doing a long wide open throttle pull. And I felt pretty good about that. That is a very good happy medium for sustained riding uh, and it's not gonna overheat on me so I can go on long cruises. Uh, I highly suggest any of you that are looking to get the most out of your scooters, definitely go and pick up one of these cylinder head temp gauges. It's an easy tuning tool that's gonna help you get started in dialing in your bike the right way and it's cheap insurance at the end of the day. Next time on Bruno Tuner, we're gonna be throwing in a variator to see what kind of speed we can get out of this setup. So stay tuned for that. As always, please subscribe, drop a like, let us know what you like and what you don't, and we'll see you next time. Peace. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. <laughs>